All right, Mr. Bob, we're going to get you taken care of. All right, thank you. Could you two give me a differential for Mr. Bob? GERD. Yeah. I think CHF. That's a possibility. All right, I'm going to call Dr. Jones and get him admitted to the floor. This is Dr. Jones. Hi, Dr. Jones. This is Dr. Fry. I have a patient with chest pain that I'd like to admit to the floor. Okay. I'm All right. Mr. Bob is a 53-year-old male with a 10-year history of controlled hypertension and diabetes who presents to the ER today with acute chest pain. He was in his usual state of health until two hours prior to admission when he developed an acute episode of substernal chest pain after dinner. The patient describes the pain as a non-radiating burning <laughs> sensation and he rates the pain as 7 out of 10 in severity. His chest pain was relieved in the ER with nitroglycerin. He reports several prior episodes of intermittent chest pain but none that lasted this long. He also reports some shortness of breath associated with his pain. He takes metformin for diabetes and a combination of lisinopril and hydrochlorothiazide for his hypertension. Relevant social history, he's a 15 uh, pack year history of smoking. He drinks a six pack of beer per week and he den denies any other illicit drug use. Per uh, pertinent family history, he has a father with hyperlipidemia who died at, uh, of an MI at age 79. His mother, age 81, has hypertension and diabetes. Brother, age 58, has a previous MI and a sister, age 55, with hyperlipidemia and diabetes. Review of systems, pertinent positives, fatigue, chest pain, peripheral neuropathy, shortness of breath, and orthopnea relieved with two pillows at night. Pertinent negatives, no musculoskeletal complaints, no chest wall pain, no vision changes, no anxiety or depression. Was his uh, pain reproducible? Uh, no, it was not. Physical exam, the vital signs were stable, except for a slightly elevated blood pressure of 153 over 90. Is not in acute distress. Lungs cleared auscultation bilaterally. No chest wall tenderness, non-reproducible. Heart with regular rate and rhythm, normal S1 and S2 with no murmurs. Trace edema to the ankles and the rest of the physical exams non-contributory. Labs, EKG shows normal sinus rhythm. CBC and blood chemistries are within normal limits. And an initial set of cardiac enzymes were also within normal limits. Okay, so what's your plan? Uh, based on his history and presentation, I'd like to admit to the floor, place on telemetry, continue his oxygen via nas nasal cannula, and order cardiac enzymes every six hours. That sounds great. See you in the morning. All right. Thank you.